In this lecture, we will understand what is passband and baseband transmission system and also see the difference between the two transmission system. As I have said in the previous lecture, according to the techniques of transmission, the communication system can be divided into two types, baseband transmission and passband transmission. Let's understand what is baseband transmission. The baseband transmission is the direct transmission of the baseband signals or original information bearing signals without any modulation. In this transmission, the digital data in the form of data bits are directly converted into digital signals. Although data given in the computer is in the analog form, but computer can never store the analog data as it requires a huge memory. Computer converts the analog data to digital data in the form of data bits with the help of ADC or analog to digital converter. In that process, image is split into pixel, videos can be split into frames, audios can be split into samples in order to store them in the computer in the digital format. Data bits is a combination of ones and zeros and together it can represent one character of data. In this transmission, data bits are directly converted into digital signals. Data bits are converted to digital signals with the help of voltage level. In a digital signal, a higher voltage level represents bit 1 and a lower voltage level represents bit 0. Here, these voltage levels represent 1010 data. Instead of using modulation, different encoding systems are used in the baseband transmission. Encoding systems are used to encode the data bits into an encoded signal. Encoding system used in the baseband transmission can be divided into line encoding, block encoding and scrambling. Line encoding is always needed but block encoding and scrambling may not be needed. Detailed explanation and the classification of the line encoding will be given in the lecture series of the digital communication. Here we will only see the difference between baseband and passband system without going into the details of everything. Data we are talking about can be in the form of text, audio, graphical images or video which are stored in the device as a sequence of bits. As I have told earlier, a sequence of bits is converted into an encoded signal using a line encoding system. At the center, digital data can be represented by a sequence of bits are encoded into digital signal. At the receiver, digital data are recreated by decoding the digital signal. Example of this type of system is telephone networks. A telephone has a speaker on one side and microphone on the other side. The speaker produces the sound waves which are received from the sender. The microphone converts the voice signal into electrical signal which is sent to the receiver. The telephone is connected to the networks with the help of wires. When the speaker speaks, the microphone converts the voice signal into electrical signal. This electrical signal is converted into the sequence of bits and the sequence of bits can be represented by a digital signal. In the telephone communication, those sequence of bits are placed directly on the telephone lines for transmission. The receiver on the other side receives the sequence of bits and converts the sequence of bits into an electrical signal. Finally, an electrical signal is converted to the sound signal with the help of another transducer or a speaker. But, as we can see in this transmission system, there is no involvement of modulation or any device that performs the modulation. That's why this transmission system is an example of baseband transmission. Another example of the baseband transmission is the computed data transmission over coaxial cables in the computer networks. Thus, the baseband transmission is the transmission of the original information signal as it is. Baseband transmission can be shown in the following form. Input sequence of bits can be represented with the help of a digital signal. The digital signal will be converted to an encoded signal with the help of line encoding. With the help of wire connected between the two points, this encoded signal will be sent to the receiver. The receiver will receive this encoded signal. Receiver will regenerate the input digital signal with the help of a decoder. Now this regenerated digital signal can be converted into data bits as original sequence of data bits. Let's see the passband transmission. Passband transmission is the transmission of incoming data streams or baseband signal with the help of modulation. In the modulation process, two signals are used, namely modulating signal and the carrier signal. The modulating signal is a data stream or baseband signal which can be represented with the help of either voltage level or binary bits. The carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal. Most important element of the transmission system is the modulation. The modulation will be discussed at length in the incoming lectures. 
Let us see the definition of the modulation. Modulation is the process by which some characteristics such as amplitude, phase, frequency of a carrier signal is varied in accordance to a modulating signal which is also known as information bearing signal or message signal. Modulation in the sender section can be divided into amplitude shift keying, frequency shift keying and phase shift keying. Digital explanation of these types of modulation will be given in the lecture series of digital communication as I have previously mentioned. Now let's see the basic explanation for the modulation techniques used in the passband transmission system. At first we have the amplitude shift keying. In this type of modulation the message signal is a sequence of data bits represented as a digital signal and the carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal. And in the amplitude shift keying the amplitude of the carrier signal will be varied according to the message signal. As you can see the amplitude of the high frequency carrier signal is varied with respect to the message signal. When the message signal is equal to 1, then the modulated signal has the amplitude of the carrier signal. When the message signal is equal to 0, the modulated signal has the amplitude equal to 0. Frequency shift K. In this type of modulation technique, the message signal is also a sequence of data bits represented as a digital signal. The carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal. And in the frequency shift keying, the frequency of the carrier signal will be varied according to the message signal. As you can see here, the frequency of the high frequency carrier signal is varied with respect to this binary message signal. When the message signal is equal to 1, then the modulated signal has a higher frequency. When the message signal is equal to 0, then the modulated signal has a lower frequency. Phase shift keying. In this type of modulation, the message signal is a sequence of data bits represented as a digital signal. The carrier signal is a high frequency sinusoidal signal. In the phase shift keying, the phase of the carrier signal will be varied according to the message signal. As you can see, the phase of this high frequency carrier signal is varied with respect to the message signal. The modulation is done in the transmitter block and in the receiver block, the modulated signal will get demodulated. It is done to retrieve the original information signal from the modulated message signal. The demodulation is exactly opposite to the modulation process where the message signal is extracted from the modulated signal. The main difference between the baseband and the passband transmission is that passband transmission must include modulation in the transmitter section and demodulation in the receiver section. Generally, any kind of wireless and satellite communication transfers the data with the help of passband transmission. In any kind of wireless transmission, generally the input data or message signal is a sequence of bit. After performing source coding and channel encoding, modulation is performed on the input data. Now the signal is ready for transmission. The signal is transmitted from the antenna in the transmitter block to the antenna in the receiver block with the help of a wireless channel. After receiving the signal, the received modulated signal gets demodulated. After the demodulation, channel decoding and source decoding, the receiver can use the signal. Now, let's see the difference between these two transmission system. Difference between the baseband and passband transmission. At first, in the first column, we have basis of comparison. In the second column, we have baseband transmission system. And in the last column, we have passband transmission system. Use of modulator and demodulator. Baseband transmission does not use any modulator or demodulator. Passband transmission uses modulator and demodulator. Frequency of transmission. Baseband transmission is the transmission of the encoded signal using its own baseband frequencies. Passband transmission is the transmission of the signals after shifting the baseband frequencies to some higher frequency range using the modulation. Necessity of channel. In the baseband transmission, the baseband signal is transmitted directly without help of any channel. In the passband transmission, modulated signal is transmitted through the channel. Preferable frequency. Baseband transmission is preferable at low frequencies. Passband transmission has fixed band of frequencies around the carrier frequency. Preferable distance. Baseband transmission is used for short distance. Passband transmission is used for long distance. Noise. Baseband transmission contains a lot of noise because the signal is original. Passband transmission contains less noise because the signal is modulated. Example. Example of the baseband transmission is the general telephone. Example of the passband transmission is the satellite or wireless communication. That's all for this lecture. If you have any doubts regarding this lecture, then you may ask it in the comment section. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. See you in the next one.